and his girlfriend, Amy Robach, talked about Dry January and their past drinking habits on their podcast. On January 11, Amy, 50, and TJ, 46, released another episode of their podcast, Amy and TJ. They talked about how they were coping two weeks into Dry January. About halfway through the episode, the couple talked about how much alcohol consumed in a week is considered heavy drinking. Amy said that she would drink about 15 to 20 drinks in a week, averaging two to three drinks in a day. She said that she drinks beer, wine, margaritas, and Aperol spurts. TJ told her that eight or more drinks per week for women is considered heavy drinking, so she certainly falls into the category. However, TJ's admission was even more shocking. I personally can go through 18 drinks a day, TJ told Amy. Amy asked him to explain exactly how he can do that. TJ said he and Amy run in the mornings and when he comes home from a run, he has two drinks, if their route doesn't end at a bar, at which he may have more. Amy said when they worked on GMA, they would run in the afternoon and then go for a beer. I put two beers in the freezer, let them get a little cold and then we'll have a beer, TJ said. Here we are, at 10 in the morning, I am two drinks in. TJ then said that if he and Amy go out to lunch, they have a two-drink minimum. Now, if we're not out and about for the day, running errands or doing something, and we're just inside, I can easily have a drink in my hand from 2 in the afternoon until 7, 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night. So, you do those numbers, TJ said and you have a drink an hour for another eight hours you could argue. That's another eight hours of having a drink in my hand, plus the four I've already had during the day. However, TJ said that the drinks that make it home are getting turned into margaritas, so it's not actually 18 drinks, adding the liquor he pours into them. The couple then went on to ask each other why they drink alcohol. TJ said that the reasons have changed over time, stating that he started in high school. College is a blur. But after that, alcohol has always been a part of the social experiment, he said. But in 2015, I got a diagnosis of moderately severe depression. The ex-host said that he didn't do anything about his depression for five years and was in a really bad place. That was when, for the first time in my life, I started drinking to mask the pain, TG admitted. I need the pain to stop and the alcohol was doing it. He said he started drinking after college and it made him feel good. So he figured why wouldn't he drink all the time if it made him feel that way?